All right, we've got the ball joints in, and we're ready to put the steering knuckle back on. I've taken out the old um, preload spacer, and I actually found that um, it comes out this way, but sometimes, or on this one, it was actually easier to push it out this way by threading it all the way through, because um, it had a lot of built up junk in there. Once I got it out, cleaned it up, and then you can slide this one in. What you want to do is leave your spacer out a couple of threads, and then we're going to take the knuckle and just slide it up on here. Make sure you clean it off a little bit first. Make sure everything looks smooth. Okay, now you're going to take, um, since this one has the preload spacer on the bottom, we're going to do this one first, the top one. From what I've read on the internet, um, apparently there's some preload spacers that go on the top and you would just do this in reverse order. Now this is a uh, 7 8 seven eighths inch socket. And we're going to tighten this one up to 100 foot-pounds. Make sure I got that right here. Right there, 100. Alright, here we go. Alright, we've got the top tightened at 100 foot-pounds. Make sure to get the nut properly spaced so you can get that sucker in there. Now the next directions call for you to use this special tool um, on the bottom to adjust the preload spacer to 50 foot-pounds. The only problem is, for some reason they didn't put a half inch uh, on the bottom of this. So I can't put a torque wrench on there, and I don't have a socket big enough to go in there. So we're going to have to use redneck foot pounds. Alright, so I'm using this special tool and the redneck torque wrench, and I'm going to tighten that sucker down to about 50 foot pounds. That's probably it there. So that tightens up onto there, and then this seals everything up and sucks it back down to get your perfect preload, apparently. Oh. Alright, so this is supposed to be tightened down to 80 foot-pounds, and for that I've got a 28 uh, millimeter socket that fits on there. Make sure you know where your hole is before you start tightening this down. Alright, that's got it right there. Good to go. Hey guys, so this is one of three, maybe more videos, depending on how, what you need to learn how to do. Um, so subscribe to my YouTube channel, this way, this, I don't know, one of these directions, and uh, check out my other videos to find uh, part two and part three, maybe of ball joint removal and reinsertion. Uh, thanks so much. Hey, thanks for watching. This is Matt with BleepinJeep.com. Uh, please check out my other videos, and if you've got any questions, just give me a holler. Thanks a bunch.